Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the Lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. Great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Please! Help! You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stags attacked, took him deeper into the district. <laughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Of a 
God goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I am Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. Ah! Oh! Let's see what you can do! Finally, think that is it! What fun did we Silvio has set these men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them! A mess they've made. Bianca. I hope she is unharmed. Bianca! Bianca! Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So, I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go, and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good conscience, leave them behind. Intesi, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Silvio wants them alive. Thinks he can turn them to our cause. I wouldn't count on it. They're as loyal as they are stupid. The tall one is somehow Hurry for your seat. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Stay close. Hang on. Hey, you're... Where have I seen you before? Wait just a moment! Not you! There! There! No more! Now you go! Let us join you. Together we will crush the Barbarigo. Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now, Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, 
I can move in for the kill. Exacto. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Follow my lead. Give me a minute. Where do I know him? <laughs> Wait here for my signal, as you wish. Hold. Raju, get him! There! Very well, what do you see? All done. This way. Hold your ground here. Consider it done. Ah! There you are! Is it done? Yes. All your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Silvio Barbario. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. Bartolomeo needs my help. Must return to l'arsenale. After him! Enough of this! We're out of time! Return to me! We must depart! Ezio, go now! That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. God damn them all! I have been nothing but loyal, and this, this is how they repay me? What trouble, master? Don't you see what happened? No. Of course not, slow as you are. We've been betrayed. The ship has sailed without us, and now the assassin approaches. Perhaps there's still time for us to escape. If not to the island, at least away from here. As you command. Yes. Prepare the ship. Raise the sails! Pull up the anchor! <gasps> What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge's seat. Just a distraction. 
We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio. Silvio is defeated. And the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's Larsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious? And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex, leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. No. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Where are they taking it? You should not be up here. 
The maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier. They'll lead me right to the figure of the Putana. Yes, sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. I'm in. Followed. Absolutely. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. Ah! Ezio. It's been some time. No, no. Leave him to me. Rodrigo. So, where is he? <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. <laughs> you claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The Prophet is already here. I am the Prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. all you have. Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Very welcome you are. Yes, and everywhere there is fear. Nipote, you are not alone. Volpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave that box. This is pathetic. He cannot stop what is written. What lies in the vault shall be mine. Mercy when you cross the temple. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? 
a prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola, Volpe, it's true, Lipote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at Salsa. La Shea Waka Umutlak Bel Kulun Munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember... Nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember... Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is true. true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. In this episode, we follow Ezio as he finds his way into old assassin tombs, where he collects more stone keys to unlock the armor of Altier. One of the best parts of the older Assassin's Creed games were solving the climbing puzzles. Ezio returns to the villa and places the stone keys in their rightful place to gain access to the legendary armor of Altier. Ezio then travels back to Venice to seek out a man named Bartolomeo. He has control over a mercenary army that could play a major role in overthrowing Templar rule in Venice. Ezio helps Bartolomeo free many of his men that are captive to gain his trust, and make him an ally. Bartolomeo forms a plan to allow Ezio to get close to his next targets, a man named Silvio and his henchman Dante. Bartolomeo and his men begin an assault on Silvio's men. As Silvio and Dante retreat to a ship in the harbor to make their escape, Ezio follows them and performs a double assassination killing both of them. In this episode we also find out that it has been 10 years since Ezio's father and brothers were murdered, and we see how he has grown and aged from episode 1 until now. Ezio finds out that the ship Silvio and Dante were boarding was bound for Cyprus, and that they were to gain possession of a piece of Eden, and bring it back to Venice. Da Vinci informs Ezio of a prophecy that says, the prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city, and only the prophet can open the vault. Suddenly everything starts to make sense and Ezio moves quickly to infiltrate the group transporting the apple to Rodrigo. When they get to Rodrigo, Ezio kills the group he infiltrated, and after confronting Rodrigo a fight over the apple ensues. Rodrigo believes he is the prophet, but as Ezio fights off Rodrigo and his goons, the rest of the assassins come to Ezio's aid. As Rodrigo escapes and the assassin brotherhood surrounds him, Ezio learns that he is the prophet. A fantastic moment in the Ezio trilogy. The episode ends with Ezio being fully initiated into the Brotherhood as a master assassin. Tune into the next episode of Assassin's Creed to find out what happens next. Editing video games into a TV series format is a lot harder than it seems. Finding the perfect start and end of each episode, and then playing the game in a way that matches the narrative of the story without the HUD. Then trying to edit around the in-game pop-ups as much as possible and placing the music in the right place to fit the mood and emotion of the scene. It definitely takes time and focus, but I enjoy the challenge, and I feel it's worth it to tell such an amazing story.
I would greatly appreciate if you could share the channel and videos with people you think may enjoy them and leave a comment. Comments help me out more than anything. Thank you for watching. And remember, nothing is true. Everything is permitted.